when I'm looking to do a project, I really do, you know, like to do things that's, that, that say something, um, that speak to something, but also I just like them to be good. So if it can, uh, you know, I think art should reflect the times and, um, you know, if, if I can do that in each piece, then I, you know, I'm all for it. Hi, Marky, how are you? Hey, Tatiana, I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm loving on prison so far. That uh, was good. Thank you. Yeah, to me, Paige <laughs> and Maul, immediately, I was like, mm, I'm shipping it already. They're just standing in some room. I ship it. Okay. Can I? Can I? Is that cool? What sure. is that dynamic like with Kerry <laughs> Washington? In real life or on screen? You know, building it on screen, but also, you know. Feeling it, feeling friendly off screen. <laughs> friendly off screen. Um, I mean, Carrie, I mean, it's Carrie Washington and she's amazing. She's brilliant in, in all things that she, she does. And for me, it was like, if I thought about like what was happening, then I would lose my job. I would not be able to deliver. I would not be able to focus. Um, I would not be able to give lines or anything. So I just did my best to not think about anything aside from Mal until after, until after we were wrapped. Um, so that was an amazing experience. And then to top, like Delroy, Delroy mm-hmm. Lindo, Delroy mother and Lindo, uh, and Tracy and Yvette. And I mean, these young kids, these young kids, Jordan and Fally and all the rest of the cast. I mean, this was such an amazing group of people to work with. And uh, really, all I had to do was listen. As an actor, all I had to do was listen. And so um, I'm very, very grateful for this. You mentioned Delroy. And of course, I really love the dynamic with Maul and Edwin. It really feels like he's like looking out for him. You know, like you really want him to do better. And I think that's super sweet. Um, what is your place in this family like he's always on the fringe of all these family scenes you know right right i don't want to get to it what's it like inching his way into edwin's family yeah i mean that was such a interesting dynamic to explore because i keep calling it like this love triangle between mal edwin and Paige, right Mm -hmm. and uh again whether it's ethical or not that's not that's none of my business. That's you know, we Mal is not perfect. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> but it was strange to, you know, to to be like in the shits with this family. And also for Mal, I think it was honorable um, and um, uh, a privilege for him for him to be uh, privy to. Edwin and Paige in their recalibration um, and them both learning trust and vulnerability. And I think that was more fuel for Mal to kind of really dive into his vulnerability in this, you know, I can't, I don't know if I can say that, but in, in some particular ways um, that he hadn't done in, in a while, in a long time. I also love how Unprisoned approaches an important topic, you know, of like, the prison system in America and and, and the unfair incarcerations yeah. from this comedic standpoint. And you get what, uh, you know, you get the lesson being taught, but you're also having a time, which reminds me of Dear White People, which I love. Um, <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> is that, to <laughs> now, is that something like, is that a balance that you like to strike or do people like for you to strike it for them? <laughs> I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, for, I know for myself, like when I'm looking to do a project, I really do, you know, like to do things that's, that that say something, um, that speak to something, but also I just like them to be good. So if it can, uh, you know, I think art should reflect the times. And, um, you know, if if I can do that in each piece, then I, you know, I'm all for it. Um, but I think it's a little bit of both, you know, it's, it's a little bit of both. Wonderful. And then <laughs> <laughs> finally, uh, what is one thing about Mallory's storyline in Unprisoned that you're most excited for fans to see or for viewers who will become fans very soon to see? Mal can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mal can eat. I think he can eat because Marquis can eat. And so there's a there's a dinner scene in one of the episodes where like, all of us, the whole cast, you know, sitting around the table and just, you know, eating. And I am eating. I want uh, I want somebody to see this and be like, Marquis needs to be in a food eating competition. 
um, not hot dogs, but uh, they're like pot roast and, and green beans. I got it. I got that. That's, that's perfect. And that tells me the realism, the dedication of realism. There's real eating. We're not having fake food on here. I support yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> I can't speak for nobody else, but Marquis was eating. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Can't wait you. for that and for the rest of the season. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. I love your background too. You the only Thank one you. committed. You the only one that had that thing up there. I, that's I had to do it. I had to do it. That's <laughs> how we know it's real. I appreciate you. <laughs> Have a great day.